Hi everyone, it's FVP Princess and today I'm finally going to build my 3 inch quads. So let's get right into it. Okay, so these are the products I'm going to use. The Gap RC Sparrow. The 1507 Gadderla Motors. Um, the Foxier Micro Camera. XUAV Fly Tower um, Mini Version. The F4 Mini Version. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put the motors on the frame. Hmm, what do you know from the first try? That's luck. Gotta give it to them. I've never screwed on a motor this fast. So I guess they did a pretty good job in making these. Okay, first motor is done. On to the next one. Okay, done. Motors are on. This is my back end side. So the minus and the plus has to go this way. Get the donuts on. They look like mini donuts. Now I'm hungry. Okay, I have them. Now I'm really nervous because this is such a small thingy, but I'll be fine, right? I always love it when they come with like this perfect little balls. That's always your end goal. I think this one could use a little bit more. Okay. Perfect! I think they're freaking perfect. Look at them little balls. Okay, so the next thing is obviously to solder your motor cables on your ESCs or well, in my case, my ESC um, stack. Um, my cables are a little bit, my tin cables are a little bit too long. So I'm gonna cut them two. Oh, that one's perfect! I'm happy. Better! Yes! They're beautiful! Okay. Now, look at it! 
it looks quite pretty okay so now that we've done that the only thing left is to put your big tail on the board okay so obviously like it says on most of the objects you have the minus plus and you just connect them um mine is a bit long so i'm gonna make it shorter here Ta -da. okay so i got this huge ass machine because i usually i'm not good at this this is easier so we're gonna do it right You see, then you have like this perfect little thing. Okay, that's one side. Now, we did it. Ta-da! Perfect. Then, we have to thin. Um, you have to thin your minus and the plus. Easy peasy. Make them pretty. Whoa. It's not working that well. Perfect little bubble. Make a perfect little bubble on this side. Whoa, there's a little bit too much center. Okay, perfect little bubbles. I did a good job with that one too. Right. So, you have to put the minus, and the minus is the black one. And the plus is the yellow one. And you just solder them on. Okay, now we've got a little bubble. I'm happy. Okay. Whoops. Things going up. See? Everything's on it. My motors are on the ESC board and my big tail is soldered on it. Now the last thing I have to do is um, take this thingy, strip it in half. Okay, so thin your cable. You sold the wrong connector on. <laughs> Oops. Did I? Oh my god, I needed this part. Okay, so, like I just said, I'm a failure and I just totally wasted my time because I cut off the wrong end. I need to obviously take this little piece, which I totally destroyed. Okay, we did it. Of course, what we did earlier on, now we just have to redo. White is signal. Now, we did it the right way. This was supposed to be here, not the other part. This is excess and you had to take it off, obviously, but I did it wrong the first time around, so I did it again now. And it's good. Screw in my camera.
on this crew I did it on this one but it had to be on this one because obviously that makes sense because it's such a small camera so, and we want it as close to this as we can but it's still um, really protected Okay guys, so this is the final build. I absolutely adore and love this build. It looks so clean and perfect actually. I really, really, really can't wait to fly. The only thing left is to pro program it in beta flight. If you guys are interested in that part, I might do a video on it. Let me know in the comments below. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Yeah. <laughs>